Just letting you guys know that we've got a few extra penguin plushies, shirts, and pins available over on Creator Inc. You don't have to worry about a pre-order waiting period this time, but once these items sell out, they're gone for good. So if you happen to miss out before, make sure to grab yours while you still have the chance previously on Yakuza 3 Remastered. That'd actually be kind of dope for like the last one to just be like, suddenly I'm like, like breaking into like a Yakuza hideout almost. It's like, holy shit, this is why they made this the final girl. You had to go through just waves and waves of dudes. Da -da 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 -da. Kuze comes out. Get you, Kuze! I thought you were a dead. Guess again, Kuze. I can never die. Ah, da -da -da -da. And then the best song plays in the whole game. Oh, yeah. Ah. That's going on my fan fiction later. And now back to Yaku. Hey, Nico. Yeah? What's that? What's what? Tiger drop. Oh. Hell! Sneako B. Back with some more Yaksa 3 Remastered. When you last left off, Kiryu made sweet, sweet love to lots and lots of ladies, and good God Almighty, it's, it's just, there's too many girls in this game, okay? There's too many girls, and there's too many Japanese names, and you know what all of last episode was? All the comments? Nick, how the fuck did you forget about Kaoru, you piece of shit, you fucker? You motherfucker. So she's at the, how at the beginning of the game, you're like, oh, I'm sad she's not showing up, and God damn it. As soon as I read that, like, I just saw all the comments were about that. I just went, oh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I forgot. Maybe because there's too many Japanese names in my brain. But I think the probably the real reason is just the fact that, like, why the fuck is Kaoru the one calling me about freaking completion shit? That's like, what? How did she know? Where is she? I'm like trying to think like, I just saw the name for some reason it didn't put two and two that it was Kaoru from the last game and the start of this game. And more just like, is this like another Bob Utsumochi or some guy that I'd like had met before or previously? And I was like, I don't remember somebody by that name and going by that. So that just leads to a whole slew of new questions of how the fuck does she know? What the hell? Like, if she's like reaching out to me, like after, by the way, we were like, potentially hooking up and now she's like yeah good on you Kiryu way to fuck those other girls that's not me what in the fuck I'm so confused I'm just so insanely confused I think that's why I, I didn't like immediately go what <laughs> I just couldn't because I couldn't even imagine that Kaoru my love interest in the previous game was, would have been texting me about that so it just completely just didn't even enter my mind my mindset even if the name was there and I should have put it together. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know why my brain works the way it does sometimes, okay? I don't know. It pisses me off the fuck. God damn it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, man. This, I'm, I'm going to be like afraid forever, you know? I'm going to be afraid whenever I see a Japanese name or, or, or any name at this point. I'm just going to be like... I should probably know this person, right? It's gonna be a brand new character. I'll be like, all right, I'm sure we met this person along the way at some point. And I'm gonna stress about it. And I'm gonna be trying to like rack my brain or looking it up online, but I'm afraid to look it up online because what if there's a spoiler and oh no. I'm just gonna pretend that every new per every name that I hear is someone I knew at some point, right? Every new character we run into, I'm like, oh, I remember him. I remember, <laughs> I remember him from Yakuza 0. <laughs> we get to Yakuza 5. Some young dude with me for the first time. I'm like, oh, dude, I remember him. I, I remember him from Yakuza 0, dude. He was like, he was like, Q, he's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to shake that shit off. And then you guys are going to be like, Nico, what the fuck are you talking about? That shit never happened. I'd be like... I'm like, you guys don't remember that? What the fuck? What's wrong? That's just like more like a you problem. <laughs> that's that's a good way to do it. That's a really good way to go about it. Yeah, I like it. That's a game plan. We're gonna we're gonna stick to that. I'm sure that I'm no I'm not gonna come to regret that at all. Anyway, uh, yes, Kaoru, of course, my favorite <laughs> favorite character. God damn it, I hate myself sometimes, guys. Fuck man, I hate my brain so much. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway. What do you think the comment of the day? What do you think the, the comment of the day? Did you think it was possible for me to find a comment that wasn't related to that? Of course not. So the comment of the day goes to King Maru, who last episode said, Nico, who the heck is this person? Kaoru. First the developers, then Nico. Will everyone forget me? Kiryu, surrounded by all the hostesses and Garomi. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> God. Uh, that was probably the... Uh, the least snarky one I could find. That was still relatively funny. It wasn't comparing Kaoru to Shion 
or fucking Makoto or a billion other names I forget. Shut up, all right? You shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying my best, all right? I'm trying my best. I need to start writing this shit down. Like, l seriously, just writing down every single Japanese name. I have a giant board behind me, like a giant whiteboard that I write all this shit down. I'm like, Nico, whatever you do, when you get to Yakuza 4, don't forget who this, these characters are, all right? As a matter of fact, don't forget who these other characters are either, because they look like they might have died, but they might not be dead. And if they pop up, you don't want to forget that what their names were. My brain's weird sometimes, man. The fact that like, I think I remember Cal Lao Kong Long. I actually remembered who he was and I think I remembered his name too. But how the fuck did I forget like Makoto's name and her profession? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. My brain just, I think we'll just, without my knowledge, we'll just dump some like important shit that it's like, well, you're starting a new let's play. Let's just go ahead and toss this shit out. You don't need it anymore. But I wanted that. Ah, oh, no, it's already gone. Bye. But anyway, King Maru, thank you so much for incredibly not snarky comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. I had to really dig deep to find that too. I had to dig super deep to find a comment that wasn't just a massive jab at my mental capacity to remember shit. All right. Because I actually feel bad, okay? I, I really did like Karu. I saw a lot of people get really savage on Karu, too. It's like, good, she will not be missed. Like, fuck. There's a dope character. I don't, I guess it just, I don't know. It may just mean the voice actress, all right? I remember that, all right? I remember you guys told me, yes, that she was kind of mean to people. That's kind of why that she didn't come back. But whatever, all right? I don't fucking care. Give her a different voice actress. I'm probably not going to tell the difference anyway. I'm getting off topic. Anyway. So we've done everything, fucking everything that we can do up to this point. And in fact, actually off screen, I also did uh, some additional uh, grinding for some materials and actually creating some new weapons. And I got through quite a bit of it. Like I'm up to, yeah, 57 out of 76. I get a large portion of this done. Um, and I came across some really cool shit like this, uh, this thing, the blue dragon bat, which uh, actually required you to get, the recipe for this was actually done by doing extra hard in the batting cages. And extra hard was fucking insane. I, they've never seen this done before, but the game basically takes away your reticule. So you can't actually see where you're fucking aiming. So what I ended up doing was I, I went to one of the previous batting cages where you have the reticule. I took a piece of tape and I stuck it on my monitor so I could always know where it was when uh, I was aiming. And I used that to aim. Cause holy fuck, like I was trying to just eyeball it initially. That shit was hard. They decreased the size of the little tic-tac-toe things and they moved them apart. Like, I was like, what in the, this is extra hard as fucking right. Anyway, you had to get, you had to break 1800 points in that to get the recipe for the blue dragon bat. And it's actually kind of cool. Now that I created it, when I go back into the batting cages to uh, bat again, I actually use the bat and it's like glows this, it has like this blue glowing aura to it. I don't think it actually makes batting any easier in the batting cages. I think it's just there for flare or show or something, but it's also pretty powerful. I think I have it on. Yeah. Uh, so 160 attack power and it start, it's, it's down to 17, but it starts with 20 uh, durability. Um, another thing that I got uh, was this, the Kamiyama set. Uh, the Kamiyama jacket, the Kamiyama arm guards, and the Kamiyama shin guards. And what these do is that if you have all three of them, it actually makes it so instead of each hit reducing durability, it takes two hits to reduce durability. So basically doubling the durability of all of your weapons. That's pretty fucking dope. And the defense and everything for it is actually is relatively decent as well. I think this will likely be very useful against uh, like a moan or somebody. You know, some of the really tough bosses in the game. By the way, to actually get some materials uh, to to create some of this stuff, you actually have to beat specific enemies in the fighting arena. So to actually get the, uh, what, what it was needed was a weapon master's gem to create these. I, I needed one for all three of these. It shows up in the shop in the arena, but only appears after you've beaten an opponent and the opponent was Kamiyama. He apparently pops up in there. So, and he fights you with like his nunchucks. I think I've actually fought him in previous games as well in the arena. So I, I've got three of the weapons master gems, which did involve a little bit of grinding to get like enough for the, uh, the points to get it. But, uh, I figured that'd be pretty useful. Uh, oh, right. And of course I also needed money by the way, to get, uh, to get a lot of this shit. So you can see I'm actually up to a million. I actually had over 2 million at one point. And I basically, I just, I got, I had the, uh, the zero jewel that you can use for gambling. And I took that to the, to the roulette. And basically the zero jewel will, will make it so that, uh, the ball will land on either zero or double zero. So you just take, you just put as many chips as you can on one of those. 
Uh, if you get it wrong, you'll just load it back up again. And if you win, you get like a fuck ton of chips. And I actually use the chip. I use some of those chips to buy a, uh, like the dragon divine short sword or something, which is in the shop. I, I think you guys might remember. I, I think I looked over that before. It was like the one good thing in, uh, yeah, there it is. The dragon palace, uh, attacked by is 120. Some say this looks like a short Muramasa blade among other theories. It's incredibly powerful. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It isn't actually used as a, as a, uh, recipe item, though, at all. It's just a really powerful sword. Um, let's see what else did I create that was pretty decent. So I did that, and then I, and then the rest I used to buy platinum plates, which I sold for a bunch of money. Oh, I got Majima's bat, the, the patriarch bat. Um, it's, it's actually more powerful than the, uh, blue dragon bat, but its durability is, like, 10 or something, so it's not a lot. Uh, oh, I got the photon blade. I gotta fuck around with this at some point. This is what sparked Kamiata's interest in weapons. Of course it does. The fucking literal lightsaber. Uh, Nature Blade is also pretty good. They call it the Nature Blade for its artistic wave-like patterns and incredible sharpness. Oh, uh, I also got this. The White Dragon Spear. This is actually the weapon that was used by Lao Kong Long when we fought him. And I needed the White Lotus Comb that I found in the locker as well to create it. And also, the, uh, the book that we found in the locker last episode... That I was like, oh, do I get a new move for this? It actually isn't. It was a, the recipe to create that weapon. Uh, and it's pretty good. Like, its attack is all right, but it's got a ton of durability. The, sh the shimmering pale white base and ornate design are fitting for such a powerful spear. I made a smoke gun. I remember in uh, one of the, I, I think it was Yox's Zero, there was like a that busted gun you could get. I think it was called the Slime Gun that really, like, mowed down the fucking uh, Mr. Shakedowns. Uh, fake dynamite, slime spray. Uh, these are actually were pretty good. The bladed tonfa and the retro fire tonfa. Carbon nunchucks. Uh, okay, so that's all the weapons. And I got some gear as well. Uh, some of this is pretty good. Like the flak, this new flak jacket was pretty decent. Pr like some damn good defense against, uh, uh, guns. And you got these other ones that sort of like protect against specific things. Like this would be good for like tasers, fire damage. Um, oh, one thing I didn't realize... When I, I remember before when I looked at this, I, I saw the Yaksa training gear and I was like, why would I use this? This is not that great. But then I realized, oh, it's you, you gain extra experience. However, I actually tested it out in some fights. I swear to fuck, my experience gain did not go up like at all. It's kind of like the, the lucky binding thing where it felt like it really wasn't doing a whole lot. I, I don't know. I was kind of confused by this. I don't know if maybe it was supposed to increase the gain that I get when I'm like, when I win a tournament or something. Like if I get 10,000 experience, I get like 12,000 or I have no idea. It's weird. I was like paying attention to some of the random fights and trying to beat dudes up for experience. And it seemed like the only way I was even getting experience was the breaking objects against dudes faces. But when I actually killed them, it didn't really get much or any experience. It was really unusual. Like when I was actually sitting there paying attention to it and looking at my bar while I'm killing a guy, I didn't see it go up. I don't know. Uh, oh, rescue cars makes your heat gauge increase at a faster rate when you're in trouble. Uh, the, the rage house. I think I've only got one so far. I'm, I'm still waiting to, uh, oh wait, no, I have three of them. I have the rage talisman and the rage bracelet. I think one of these I had to get it from the, uh, the casino where the Coliseum is. Uh, oh yeah. And there's this other one too, the Shisa belt. Uh, this increases your defense. Apparently, if you equip all three of them, I've only got, I think, got one. Oh, the Mewshoes. shoes. We all remember this. Make sure to calm even the most savage of beasts. I thought that was supposed to be the opposite. Like, they're super annoying and it was supposed to attract enemies. Uh, a lot of these are honestly kind of useless. Uh, this necklace is supposed to reduce the amount of energy consumed when sprinting. So, I guess the chase sequences. Well, anyway, I there's quite a few, like, triple sets in this game where if you get all of them, they give you some power. So, uh, I've at least got one of them. The Kamiyama set. So, that... Should at least help me a bit. And I've got some decent weapons now. So if I run into any more trouble, I can at least whip out some weapons and I have twice as, I can use them for twice as long. All right, all right, sorry. I just wanted to get you guys caught up on all the shenanigans I've been getting into. So I think we're pretty much good to go at this point. We've done all the uh, sub stories that we can possibly do, even the uh, the ladies. Oh, by the way, I, I didn't end up doing the, trying to complete food and drink because I actually looked up what you get from it and all you get is a, an armor set that actually helps helps you with the hostesses which i was like well it's a little late for that isn't it so i'm like yeah i'm not gonna bother with it there's actually quite still quite a few weapons too that i i can't do anything with because i have to uh uh i actually have to progress a bit more with the story unlock some more battle arena stuff 
and uh, some additional opponents, which will also give me some more items that I can use to create stuff. So, and that's probably where some of the, the best weapons are. But all right, let's go see Dante. He's been waiting outside for like three years for me to come pick him up. Where the hell have you been, Kiri? My bad. Kiri. Kiri. <laughs> like, I still walk into him. He's like, ugh. <laughs> it actually makes my controller vibrate too. Kiri, what the, what took you so long? Sorry, Dante-san. I got here as fast as I could, really. Don't worry about it. But, <laughs> ah, whatever. It's fine. I don't have anything to do. Gotta say, though, Tommy, uh, Tommy uh, ringing you up is a pretty unexpected development. I wonder if he actually would have said something different if I really rushed over here immediately. Yeah, hopefully meeting him will clear clear some things up. Hope so. Don't forget that Tommy Yama is one of the biggest political figureheads in the country. Who knows what he could be planning? In other words, we should be ready for anything. You about ready to get good to go? Oh, fuck. Damn it! Wait! He's like, why? Are you kidding me? I know, I'm sorry, but I, I actually... I... Uh, when I was going and buying stuff, I took a lot of the my healing stuff out of my inventory. Let's put some more back in there. Seriously, there's some... Like, when I was getting the platinum plates to sell for money, I had to... Like, I filled up my inventory. I had to leave, go to a save point, drop it off, come back, and get the rest of the platinum plates before I could, like, get, get them all. It's like, Jesus. This is something these, these games have always had a problem with, is fucking inventory management. Okay, for real this time. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Great, time to swing by the Millennium Tower, then. Oh. Cool. We just get, like, ten, pot, ten, ten sub stories, did we? No, we did not seem to. <laughs> that would be actually really funny if it did. So, well, never mind. Time to continue the maze. Ah, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Da, 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 da. Oh, you must be Cosmic Q, Yusama. Yeah, you're T Tamiya's driver, right? Actually, his secretary. You can call me Higaki, sir. And you, you're from the media, yes? Yep, name's Date from the Kai and the... Ah! Oh my... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Date, I can't be friends with you anymore. No. Uh, get away from me! What? Kiri, what's my- No! Ah, oh, you're triggering me! Ah! Oh, oh. Dante, are you somehow affiliated with the gang that's going to ruin judgment? <laughs> the fucking guy in news? What in the shit, man? I know that's likely just a location, right? Right? Let me look this up. What is even Kai Hin? That's gotta be a, just a location. Okay, the first thing I get is a Kai in North America. Kai Corporation was founded in December of 1956 in its head office in Shinjuku War, Tokyo. Talk about carburetors? No, I don't. No, it's not a location. Who the fuck is it? Okay, then in that case, my 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 personal stands. Who the fuck are you? Not? <laughs> Just kidding. It turns out it's me all along. You gotta help me stop the guy in gang. Curious, son? <laughs> I pull out my fucking divine dragon sword and stab the shit out Dante. No, this ends now. <laughs> if I kill the guy in gang here, they won't be able to chase after Yagami in the future. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, you sang my hand with the force, though. Now, that's how I know Kiryu. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid I can't allow a reporter to. Now, hold your horses. What we have here is a prominent government official arranging a private meeting with the ex-chairman of a major crime syndicate. If you don't let me come, I'll have to write an article based on, how, how, on that info alone. And who knows what kind of con conclusions I could draw from that. But... Sorry, but I think it's for the best for you to let Date-san come with us. We promise he won't, he won't write about anything he hears today. Right, Date-san? Sure. <laughs> Crossing his fingers. Very well, then. Please get in the car when you're ready, sir. No, I don't want to get in. Okay. All right, let's go. Very well, sir. Just get in the car. Get in the fucking car. <laughs> get in. There's a whole bunch of kind gang members in there. Fuck. Meanwhile, at the Capitol. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Council of Voices. Damn, we upgraded. <sighs> and your voice is just as hot as I expected. あの有名な元刑事の分野か。お前らもいっぱいやるか。いや。お前 
前沖縄の例のリゾート予定地で養護施設をやってるんだってなああそれが原因で堂島大吾も土地買収の話を断ったそうじゃないか何が言いたいお前とこの民ミヤ竜蔵互いに利害が一致してるってことだどういうことだ I'm going to go to the resort. 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 なぜ簡単だあの法案俺は初めから通す気がなかったからだなんだとはあ聞かせてくれ沖縄の基地拡大とリゾート開発そのすべてについてうん俺もお前たちに頼みたいことがある何を聞きたいんだ What should I ask about?、Uh, okay, the purpose of the military expansion bill. Let's just start from the top. あんたの沖縄米軍基地拡大の本当の狙いってのは何なんだうん。俺の本当の狙い。それは世界で暗躍する組織の正体を暴き。その組織を潰すことだ利権絡みのマフィアか何かかそんな簡単なもんじゃない俺が追いかけているのは通称ブラックマンデーと呼ばれている組織だ Are those the guys in black we saw before? それって That one guy that beat my ass? 伝説の武器密輸組織のことじゃないのかさすがは分野だよく知ってるな1987年あの世界大恐慌の引き金になったニューヨーク株式市場の株価大暴落を裏で操っていたとさえ言われる武器商人アンドレ・リチャードソンを中心とした武器密輸集団通称ブラックマンデー俺はその正体を知るためにあの沖縄米軍基地拡大を仕掛けたブラックマンデーの正体を知るためだとどういうことだ知っての通り、基地拡大の最大の目的は、日米で共同開発する BMD の配備だ。Right. その開発の裏では、超単位の金を。<笑>金を<笑>設計図だけでもとてつもない価値を秘めているんだ。とてつもない価値。日本の最先端の技術とアメリカの兵器開発のノウハウの結晶。沖縄の基地拡大法案による新 BMD 配備は、他のどの国が逆立ちしても売ることができない最強の防衛兵器の誕生を意味する実現すれば中東を含めたアジア一帯の国々は今後十数年日本に手出しすることはできない That sounds neat. そんなものが沖縄に日米共同開発の米軍で世界の防衛バランスを変えるほどの代物なんだと一応世界的にはそういうことになっている。<笑>不要だなあ,ああ、そうだ。そういった風評があることが重要だったんだ。どういうことだ世界最新の兵器開発。それを欲しがる奴らが動き出すってことだ。Everybody! まさか、その欲しがってる奴ってのがブラックマンデー。Yes, I'm talking about them. We were just talking about them. 世界中に武器を売りつける武器密輸組織ってのは常に最先端の技術を欲しているもしその技術が日米以外の国に流れたら世界の防衛バランスを崩壊させるほどの技術やつらが新 BMD は
ブラックマンデーをおびき出すための餌ってことか沖縄の基地拡大法案はあくまでそのブラックマンデーをおびき出すための A massive、uh, chance of backfiring. <laughs> There'd be a lot of backlash afterwards. Yeah. あんたはもう法案を通す気がないと言ったなそれはつまり They found them? ああようやくブラックマンデーの尻尾をつかむことができたというわけだ And snared. じゃああんたの目的は花から鈴木との総裁選にはなかったってことかそんなものは小アッパの政治家気取りが欲しがるもんだ I'm old as fuck, dude. Do you think I have a shit? But I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Yes, many. So, Tamiya came up with a military expansion bill to lure out an international arms smuggling syndicate known as Black Monday. Their leader, Andre Richardson, would no doubt be drawn in by the BMD system they're proposing for Okinawa. In other words, the only reason Tamiya was so insistent on the military expansion was so he could stamp out Black Monday once and for all. He has to be working with someone, though, someone with connections to the US Army. That person holds the key to all of this. What should I ask about? Uh, okay. Let's go with the man who shot Daigo. Kazuma! Daigo w t h a n o s h i r a n a Fake Kazuma! So t e a r e any more w a r a n So ka. o n Kazuma ni ni teru to o t o o n o t o a Sujo mo mok t a k i m o s a p a r i d a na. Ah. Mate Kazuma da to? So it's a dojima daigo w t a n o k a Nanika s h i t e r n o k a Hm. おれの知っているカザマとお前らの知ってるその男がどういつ人物ならの話だが教えてくれあんたの知っているカザマってのは一体誰なんだカザマジョージお前のいた登場会の元幹部カザマ組組長カザマ慎太郎の実の弟だ
like how Dante's like the reactor here. <laughs> it can't be. You don't mean. <laughs>俺が計画の絵を描き、ジョージは組織を使ってそれを実行した。じゃあ、親さんの弟が第五を撃ったというのも、計画のためだったというのか。おそらくは。風間の弟の組織ってのは何なんだ。今も警察の下で動いてるの
その任務のため Damn, CIA brutal. 土地買収を断った人間を撃ったとああだが CIA の諜報員はジョージだけじゃないすでにお前も何度か命を狙われているはずだ。Oh. まさか。Oh. ススの no, those were the guys in black suits. Oh. We did say they were foreigners, didn't we? Yeah. お前は沖縄のリゾート開発を中止させよう。Yeah, I got beat my ass! He kept doing flips and dips! しかして、カシワギを撃ったのも CIA だ。Oh my god, they killed Kashiwagi too? どうしてどうして日本人なのにそこまでして Yeah, seriously. ジョージにとって CIA は己の生きてきた人生のすべてだ。すべてお前らに話してもわかるまいが。今から三十年前、日本という保守的な国家で。警察官の肉親に極道関係者がいるとなればそれだけで迫害を受ける時代だったジョージは実の兄が極道しかも登場会という大組織の顔役であることが原因で And they look just、like、自分の罪を貫くことすらできず警察を去ったそんなジョージに手を差し伸べたのがアメリカという国だった能力があれば国籍や人種を問わない自由の国でジョージは新たな人生を手に入れたんだだから CIA のためほかに聞きたいことはあるか The CIA needed the military expansion bill to stay afloat so they could lure Black Monday out into the open. And it was under CIA orders that Joji shot Daigo for refusing to take my land. Guess the CIA is almost like a second family to him now, after what happened during his time in the forest. That explain explains why he's so loyal to the US government. Goddamn Americans! Mine! Toma. <laughs> 基地拡大法案を通過させるためにリゾート開発の土地買収を頼んだ先があのミネだというのかそうだその話はおかしいな死んだ柏木の話によればリゾート開発の土地買収を進めていたのは鈴木と風間それに風間とつながってる登場会の組織ってことになるはずだうんだが事実はそうではないそもそも2年前の玉城組の土地買収騒動以来リゾート開発の土地買収は行われていなかった何だとじゃあなんで風間は中原を撃ってまで土地の権利書を奪ったんだ基地拡大法案を進めるためだリゾート予定地の買収が進まなければ同時に基地拡大法案も止まってしまう<笑> so just kill That works every time. ブラックマンデーの尻尾がつかめないだから強引な手段で土地の権利書を中原という男から奪い土地の買収を推し進めようとしたんだ登場会を使ってかああ CIA は堂島大吾を動かすためネックとなっていた朝顔がある土地の権利書を奪い土地買収の協力を持ちかけただが第五は土地の買収を断っただから撃たれたのかそういうことだそしてトーマはミネにリゾートの土地買収の話を持ちかけたトーマはリゾートの利権そのすべてをミネに渡すという条件で協力するよう求めたんだろう利権のすべてを渡すだとそんなことしてトーマに何のメリットがあるんだトーマという名前から奴が沖縄の人間だということは。ああ、he he believes the resort is actually。一年前、直接。in the best interest of Okinawa。今から三年前、トーマは沖縄の発展を夢見て政治の世界へと足を踏み入れた。そこでトーマは沖縄の米軍基地拡大とリゾート計画のことを知り、沖縄のためになるならと喜んで働いた。あいつは
沖縄を豊かにしたいと話していた。いや。トーマの目的は最初から沖縄の発展しかない。あいつは一年前にリゾートの土地買収とヤクザがつながっていることが発覚しそうになった時にも、基地拡大まで友倒れにならないよう、俺を登場会の道島に引き合わせ、丸く収めさせた。だが、あいつは初めから基地拡大のことはどうでもよくてリゾート開発計画のことしか頭になかったんだじゃあトーマは堂島大吾とあんたを引き合わせた時に登場会の連中ミネとも知り合ったというのはだがやつは1年経って法案がフェイクであることを知ってしまった、hey, that out. だから強行に土地買収を進められる力を求めて白鵬会にする白鵬トーマとミネは互いの利害が一致して手を組んだんだなるほどなだがあれだけ六代目に忠実だったミネが登場会を裏切ろうとしていたとはなミネという男はよくわからん今回の一連の騒動で登場会の事実上のトップはあの男のはずだ黙っていればより上のポストが約束されているのに I think he thinks he's doing something good for the client as well, though. I think it's, it's not so much that he's like, he feels like he's betraying them. I think he thinks he's helping them by doing this. Like, this is, the, this is for the best. Just like how Toma thinks that what he's doing is for the best of Okinawa, right? Because they'll build tourism, which is good for business. So, Kazama san's brother and the CIA were promoting the military expansion bill to destroy Black Monday, while Toma and Mine were throwing their weight behind the resort. I think I finally started to see the whole picture here. Thanks, exposition man. Okinawa no resort of Kaka calls of course to the Toma to Mine. So then you see, I ate on Tano Mokteki. You are Kueo Kaita Yatsuga, me at Tana. George, you all Tometegre. Tomer. CIA の任務を止めろというのかそうだトーマを守ってやってほしいどうして CIA はトーマを殺す必要があるんだ奴は知りすぎたんだこの法案の裏に CIA が関与していることもそして法案がフェイクだということもなじゃあ CIA はそのことを封印するためにああ俺はトーマを殺したくはないできればあの二人を助けてやりたいんだでもトーマはあんたの計画を邪魔した男だろうどうして今になってかばうようなこと、yeah, fuck him. 強い信念を持った人間はいずれ大きな志を抱くそしてそれを実現する俺の恩師が教えてくれたことだトーマは純粋でまっすぐだあれはいずれ良い政治家になるでもそれだけでそれだけじゃねえんだよ伊達さんんこのさん食えないやつだが自分の部下を見殺しにできない古いタイプの人間のようだ Another daddy figure joins the arena そうなんだろ<笑>分かった今トーマを止めれば土地買収も終わるおやすさんの弟には返さなきゃならない借りもあるからなやってくれるか Hell yeah. あんたのためじゃない俺はただ朝顔を失いたくないだけだいいだろうじゃあお前がトーマをジョージから守ってくれたら沖縄のリゾート開発は俺の手で完全に止める約束しよう What about Black Monday? トーマは今どこに沖縄だ地元の県議会の議員との会合に向かってるはずだ<笑>日本の極道にもまだこんな男がいたとはな Don't get shot in the head, dude. The problem is here. Huh? Huh? What happened? 
Oh, hi. 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 Oh, all these fast security guys. Time to fight my way out of the building now. ってのは成りたいと言ってなるものなのか。じゃあ逆に聞くが、組長ってのは成りたいと言ってなるものなのか。トップとは何かを成し、それを積み重ねてきた人間がいつの間にか勝手になってるものだろう。違うか。な。確
Okay, I thought I ran you over by accident. All right, here we go. Come with me if you want to look here, you chat. <laughs> that was amazing. Fuck yeah. Majima to save the day. Chapter 10, Unfinished Business. おじさん、吉高。お前こんな夜遅くまでどこ行ってたんだ。え。えっと。友達とみんなで野球してた。なんだ。そうだったのか。帰りが遅いから心配したんだぞ。それより、おじさん聞いてよ。今日のテスト
100%. Suppose that's that, then. So what? You're just giving up, Majima? Kirch has a big stubborn ox. Now change his mind, he's like this, Dante son. You should know that better than anyone. And so I. Kitty chan. The Majima family keep the lights on over at to Tokyo HQ while you're gone. Go do what you gotta do, yeah. Thank you, Majima son. Go beat some ass. You bet I will. Give me a hand or a hundred from the, from the Madra family. Just give me a ring. I'll be down there before you even hang up hang up on the phone. <laughs> I'll be down there in my truck. It's for you. you know, you don't have to take the truck right now. I gotta take the truck. Carry a 10. You know that's the point. Okay, okay, Jesus. Thanks, Madra Masson, but I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Just don't let me and any of those CIAs let's get the better of you, yeah? You're not allowed to go down till I bring you down myself. Thanks, Vegeta. Be careful down there, Kiryu. For a small island, there sure are going to be a lot of people there who want to mess you up. The crew of the CIA, just stay safe, will you? I'll do my best. Time to go. Kick some ass. Kick some ass. Kick, 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 kick some ass. Oh boy, who is it? Is it Mac? Oh, Abuki. Oh, HLA Okinawa. Nice work, Kiryu san. I'm really grateful that you agreed to help the kids, the Hitman in Okinawa. I wanted to let you know that the HLA office in Okinawa received info on Hitman in Danta Rukyu. Uh, when you're in downtown Riku, stop by Ryogi, Ryukyu Shogi under the monorail. One of my men there will fill you on the details. Sorry for all the trouble. All right. There's the continuation of Hitman shit. Uh, I don't see any new sub stories that popped up here, which is good. Uh, that said, though, before I head out, I do want to stop by the arena. Yes, I know. <laughs> really? But I know that some stuff is actually supposed to unlock for that this chapter, so... Might as well just go knock it out, so I, and also probably gain a few levels in the uh, in the meantime. I think I've already yeah. So the next level like or the next uh, unlock point is 110. Oh, actually, I think also some new videos potentially unlock over at Beam here. Yes, Musashi Motomiya story, Wo Feng Song story. Ever heard about Wong Fei Song? He's a kung fu master from ancient times. DVDs about his life and Musashi. Right, true story about the legendary swordsman himself. I already have those. So what can I make with these? Uh, Purgatory Rod, Double Broadswords, these Chinese Broadswords. Uh, oh, the Yang Dragon Brooch and the Yin Dragon Brooch. I don't think I've come across those yet. And Double Katana, use a Sakura Storm as the base, and Ancient Steel Null Bell. I might have that, actually. Okay, how much is it going to take to repair this bat now? Uh, oh. Oh, shit. Barely anything. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's amazing. I thought for sure it was going to be like some ridiculous. I was like, it's going to be like a million yen, right? No, not at all. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> I am insanely shocked by that. Uh, okay. Purgatory rod. Uh, super alloy spring. Don't have that. You see, the white dragon spear is a hundred fucking durability. Holy shit. Where's the sucker storm? I should have that, right? Oh, there's the double katana. These are actually... Durable Takamitsu swords. Great for faking out enemies. Uh, sure, why not? I thought I had the Sakura Storm already. Oh, yeah, there's also this, this fucking material. This chunk of wood ash is the most annoying one to get because you have to play through the uh, uh, the extra hard one. And uh, it, it's basically the reward that's just below getting the uh, the recipe for the blue the blue dragon bat. But playing through that is fucking annoying. Seriously, that that is definitely the hardest batting uh, section I've ever played in any of these Yaxa games. And it's not just the fact that the reticule's gone, the, the balls they throw are just so fucking fast and random. It's either insanely fast or insanely slow. Oh, that, yeah. so I was actually seeing this, I, I was like looking through the shop, I was like, I know I saw something that says Sakura Storm is a base. So in the guide that I was actually using to help me with the, some of this mod stuff, it actually did mention how, for whatever reason, some of the recipes in here are just wrong. So yeah, I actually just made this, but I didn't use an, a, a Sakura Storm as the base. I used a Nameless Katana as the base. Weird. I guess they would have. I, I guess I was saying in the original. I think they would have corrected that though in this uh, in this version. But <laughs> I guess they were like, nah, fuck it, whatever. Hey, here we go. All right, Twin Dragon Grand Prix. Grand Prix only for a selected tag fighting teams. The techniques of these ultimate team duos are in their cl a class of their own power and destruction. The top tag team of the Underground Coliseum will be decided here. Got some new folks and a lot of familiar folks. <laughs> My one friend. I might be able to go out and get some new guys, but 
whatever max was doing fine seriously versus these business guys so one thing you guys told me about and i was sort of messing around with a bit off screen was that if you do this you can pretty uh uh pretty commonly get a free tiger drop because they almost always immediately attack you after a full triangle combo it kind of depends though it's not it doesn't work for every enemy like some enemies like this guy here who just armors his way through everything it doesn't work super well because i can't get i can't even get my full combo off damn it my guy's locking onto the wrong dude oh my god beat him oh god please hit him there we go all right two kung fu guys oh my god they're both coming in for kicks see if i can get the see they how he immediately attacked after that there we go like that it doesn't always work but it it it, it does work fairly frequently for like a guaranteed tiger drop just gonna make sure you get your timing down because you can't press it too soon Ah, see, like, that there didn't really work. That guy's dead. Oh, God. Ah, stop trying to kill me. Beat him up. He just keeps wanting to chase me and kick me. Leave me alone. Ah, help me, Maxim. Help me. Help me. Ah. Ah. God damn it, Max, will you fucking hit him, please? Ah, fuck you. Oh my god. Two big beefy boxer dudes. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck get out of the way. Oh, come on, dude. I'm fucked. Oh, oh wait, I lived. Oh, that's because of my heat. Right. I can't die while I have heat gauge on. Oh my God. It fills up like this. All right, let's get help a bit. It's definitely a good situation to have this on. Now I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, that's so bullshit. I was just trying to grab him. Fuck. Yeah, my grant name has been upgraded even though I lost. So yeah, like right there, I tried to do it, but it didn't work. It's like you, you, you can't press it. It's not like you can button mash your way through it and have it work consistently. It has to be like, just like maybe a half second pause. It takes a little bit of, damn it, too slow. There, like that. It's like slight delay, just so slight. There we go. And he's dead. You just fucking, fucking die already? Jesus. Oh, boy. Sumo guy. Probably has a shit ton of armor. Oh, see, now that's not going to work on this dude, though. Attacks are way too slow. I think the, the idea is simply that it makes the enemy, like, the enemy is almost guaranteed to attack you. But the speed of which he attacks you varies on the enemy, right? Like, if you want him to get them to attack you, but you're still gonna have to time it afterwards. Yeah, see? Oh, what the hell was that? Fuck you, dude. God, I hate these fights. Ah, oh, fucking died. Fucking sumo, dude, man. This is where I get beat his ass, Maxim. Beat his ass! Yeah, fuck you. Oh god, the sumo dude again. Oh god, and this guy can do that apparently. Yeah, I'll fight the not sumo guy. How about that? Die, dipshit. Oh, thank god. Fifteen thousand experience. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now I am the cage match king. All right, lock to the next one. Hyper Grand Prix. Actually, for whatever reason, I only acquired one win from this one to actually unlock. A new grand stage of fighting has just been opened its doors. Finally, the no-holds-barred battle you've been waiting for is here, which is which ultimate, which fighter will capture the wealth and fa fame of the fighting underground? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Have we got any new uh, stuff to exchange points for? Nope. And there's the Weapon Master Gym, by the way. This is what I need to uh, to get the Kamiyama gear. I need three of these. 20,000 points. All right. We're going to start running into here. What the hell? It's just the same assholes I've been fighting up to this point. A Toki Minotaur. That's new. Uh, oh, there's a sumo dude again. And his own his own battle. Uh, sure. And so much shit like that happens where he just like, in, he didn't. I didn't do any damage to him there, by the way. You know, I did tiger drop him. There we go. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, what the hell was that? Just a little damage to him. Yeah, fuck you, fatty. Ugh. Yeah, fuck your shit, bitch. Armor went through that. Die. Right in the man tits. The Minotaur, ow. What the hell? Fuck you. God, this move does so little damage. It's not worth my time, honestly. See ya, bitch. Ten thousand experience. Oh, hey, that's new. Leech glove. Grab an enemy while wearing these to sap their strength and charge your heat up. Yeah. Give me the juice. Oh, these are new too. Oh, you can actually buy the white lotus comb. And the yin and yang dragon brooch. This, these are actually. This is. I just saw what I needed for. Uh, for these. This brooch has the yin dragon carved into it. It's quite unique. And yang and quite mystical. For some reason, this was only 25, this, but this one's 45. Oh, fuck you shit, bitch. Magnum Force Grand Prix, a gathering of the strongest fighters and the finest of fights. Watch as the, the curtain rises on the most di dynamite Grand Prix around. Which fighter will muscle their way to the top? Uh, what the hell? Is still nobody new? Oh, wait, there. Oh, Kabaki! I see you, old man. Better fight that old man in here. I swear to God. Fuck you, fatty. Get out of here. Get the shit out of here. Where are you at, Kamaki? Where are you at, old man? No, you're not Kamaki. No, you're just this piece of shit. I've killed like 30 times. Got him very good at tiger dropping that one move. Just get far enough away from him and, uh... Do that. Here, do it again. Come on. Come on, I'll give you another opportunity here. Come on, hit me. Oh, come on. You almost had me that time. Come on. Here we go. Don't, don't give up now. Do it again. Almost got me. Almost got me. 15,000 experience. Damn, still not ready to level up, though. Oh, fuck me. What the hell? Oh, God. Back out heat action. Oh, God. Ow. Ah, I like dead. On the floor, I'm just kidding, I win. Hey, there he is! Come on, Kate! It's your old student, remember me? I know you are, Kiryu, goddammit! Now fight me like a man! Uh-oh, uh-oh! Come on, Kate! Oh! So we can hit you with your own tiger drop, bitch! Ow. Oh, God! Stop doing all my moves! They're my moves first, you asshole! Now die! Holy shit, he is zipping and dipping! Oh, my God. Oh boy. Ah. 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 Stop it. Oh God, oh God. No! Fuck you, old man! Snow never let it, never let your eyes off a dragon! Ah! Oh, die, old man! I'm the master now! Serves you right. Alright, we got a lot of the fighters here. I still got this dude and actually uh, Yonashiro. That's the guy who taught me how to use uh, the weapons in Okinawa. I think he's in the he's a, yeah, I think he's in the Weapon Master one. I just haven't managed to fight him yet. Oh hey, this was not here. The flak vest is super re resilient to bullets. It's extra durable due to its special creation process. Dragon flak vest. 
Yeah, that, was, that had to be for defeating Kamaki. I don't think I saw this e before either. Southpaw bracelet. Mysterious power residing in this thing somehow strengthens left-hand attacks. Really? Specifically left-hand attacks. So there's still one more uh, arena battle, but I don't actually unlock it until uh, chapter 12, apparently, which I believe is actually the last chapter of the game. So we are getting there. And apparently to unlock it too, I actually have, I have to beat both of these a total of, grand total of five times, so. Which uh, at this point is fucking fine. Definitely got a lot better at uh, tiger dropping people. Good lord. But which I mean, sort of abusing their AI until they fucking hit, get hit by it. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. Next episode, we'll be heading back to Okinawa and uh, might be getting a few more sub stories while we're over there. But the story's interesting. I, I, I probably could have done maybe with. With some of that uh, exposition happening a bit more naturally as opposed to the guy just sitting out explaining everything to me, but it is interesting. It's a, I do like the Mini's character, and I, I the setup here is is very intriguing with just like the, you know, everyone's motivations. The fact that Kazama had a brother, and then, you know, just that the whole idea that he was a cop and the other guy was a uh, part of the Yakuza and the the reasoning behind why he decided to join the FBI or I mean the CIA. It's just it was interesting, and uh, I am liking uh, Mine too. I'm kind of curious to see. What is it going to lead to, right? As all this starts to come to a head. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become Piggy Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.